maybe I am not on a bike, it's because it's Thanksgiving and I just ate a lot of food and drank some wine. As a matter of fact, I'm still drinking wine. This is Sarah, Swerving Sarah. Hi. Also a dino. Ugh. I'm on the G4 team that I'm very proud to be on. and uh, Maybe we should give a shout out though to Snow Farm Vineyard, our local vineyard at Grand Isle or South Hero. I'm not sure which island it's on, to be honest. I think they're in South Hero. Okay. Here in Vermont. So, happy racing, everyone. Cheers. Mm, that's, that's tasty. Yeah, yeah. Very good stuff. Plate harvest. Delicious. All right, so we're going to be trying to flip him back and forth between Dinos 1 and Dinos 3 tonight. We'll see if we're talented enough to do that and sober enough. All right. So there's not that many teams here tonight, Sarah. Yeah, there's, I think they said only 20, no. Like 36 people or something? 36 no, people? There's not that many teams here tonight. Yeah, it says there's 48 signed up up here. Oh, yeah, there you go. That would show, wouldn't it? Yeah. It So, Dino's had, I think, a four and a five minute wait tonight, so we have a little bit of time to kill. Oh. We're listening to the Dino's three team in our ears. Yeah, so we have a little bit of inside scoop. They're mostly uh, Dino's Canadian team racing tonight. We do have a few Americans riding. But some of them are hungover at this point, so <laughs> we'll see how this race We're goes. not going to mention which one is hungover, <laughs> but maybe you can tell by her drunken cycling this evening. And also on the chat here, I think they also called her out. So. Oh, that's true. They did mention about her tossing her cookies, so that's unfortunate. We'll see if everybody can cross the line. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited for um, some people that are usually on like the D4 team stepping up though on the D3 team tonight. That's big. How they That's big. It's a good opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. And uh, maybe somebody dino-wise can finish towards the top this evening with so few teams in there. That would be exciting. It would be exciting. Um, I see that Diesel Debbie is actually giving us a little bit of shit about our ability to flip back and forth on our Twitch stream today. Wow, Debbie, I'd like to see you try. Very judgy. Very judgy indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I appreciate that there, Diesel Deb. Right on. Have to come after her in a little bit. Oh, you just got a write-on for not writing. I know. I'm going to get so many write-ons for sitting in the pen all night. You're so good at this. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to give a write-on right back. Right on. Right on. My like house is all like country about it. Right on. Like, whoa. Oh, some of these dogs oh, are going on. Angry, right angry ears. dogs going on. They can't hear us talking shit about them. No, That's they great. can't. We'll hear oh, it later, look, though. They're talking about Dino Secrets. Oh. Time. Do I hear a man? I don't know. The other night, some man folk leaned into the headset and announced that he was taking a shower. I'm not sure. Oh. Whose man that was, but it was good to know that he was showering. We did on um, Dinos 4 also hear about some sons um, finishing biking and uh, their parts and how they were stuck to other parts. Oh, so oh. yeah. Well, that sort of thing does happen, I guess, for the men folk. I'm not so sure that's a, a womanly issue. No. But uh, yeah, oh. I gotta get all the bits taken care of. Is, are we down to zero here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are. So the countdown oh. has. Stopped and finished, and so now we have a four or five minute wait for both dino teams. I probably should go through and find somebody to follow. Okay. Boom, there's Nuria. I think Nuria is on Dinos 3. Can't see who this is, though. Who am I watching? Oh, so uh, there's below. Diesel Deb. We'll follow her. Oh, let's watch some Diesel Deb she since she's smack talking. Let's talk and her. Diesel Deb has actually come quite a long way since joining the Dinos. She started as a D and flew past the C and is now a B. Wow. Killing it, Deb. She is. Diesel Deb is killing it. I guess you should change her name to be more like B-oriented, though. 
Um, so how do all these people come up with their names here on the dinos? Um, they're completely just random and made up on a whim. By who? Me, mostly. <laughs> we we but, do have some good names here. We have uh, Kilowatts Katie, mm -hmm. who's on our D4 team. I'm very excited to ride with her. Yeah. And Diesel Deb. As of, like, three minutes ago, uh, Sarah Zaleski just earned the name of Drill Sergeant Oh, Zaleski. So, uh... Congrats the promotion there, I suppose. She is my favorite drill sergeant. <laughs> we can effectively call her coach, however, because if, if drill sergeant isn't like a term of endearment that she prefers. Her choice, though, really, I guess. Awesome. Maybe. There's also Ford Tough. I'm not, is she on tonight? Is Jen Ford on here? I don't think she is tonight, is she? Nope. Um, look in one. Nope. No. Can I have a bottle of wine? Oh, oh. Oh, thank Swervin you. needs a little top off. I guess oh, that's how she you. earned her name. Hello. Hey -o. There we are. So thank you, two. Snow Farm Vineyard, once again. So we have six people in the Dinos one. Don't count yourself. You counted yourself. Oh, five. Five people in Dinos three. But as I was counting, somebody switched from Dinos three to giant Dinos oh, one chat. So oh, oh dear. I'm not that I might be lying, Team Ball. <laughs> oh, and then and there's another nickname. Uh, so Paula is known as Powertrain Paula. Oh, Powertrain Paula. Yeah, she's That's got some one. some serious power there that she taps into and just barrels on through at times. Oh, they're talking about us on the chat right now. Oh. They're not talking about us. They would never do such a thing. I'm, I'm not sure what full English is. What's full English, guys? <laughs> I feel like they're ignoring me on the chat. It happens. Oh, Chantel's on tonight. Hey, oh, well, she's Canadian, so that makes sense. That does make sense. A happy normal Thursday to our Canadian friends. Yeah. And viewers, I suppose. I'm really excited. We have two Dino Fords going after Dino 3 tonight. Chantel is the Dinos 4 fearless leader. She's uh, taking us all on and is working on improving all of us, and we appreciate it very mm -hmm. much. Cheers to you, Chantel. Ding! <laughs> I suppose I don't need to make the ding sound when the glasses do it for me, right? <laughs> and in other news, also give a shout out to Castelli. I somehow, maybe perhaps wrongly, got accepted to the Castelli Collectivo this season. So that's awesome for me, but maybe not so great for them. No, it's great for them. <laughs> you know, Lauren has a great dino community here and Zwift community. So yep. support, support yeah. the brand here. Yeah, so get your Castelli gear. It's awesome. It fits well and it's comfortable. You know, Lauren's repped them on her head from the very beginning of Zwifting, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, can't wait for my custom kit to come in, then I'll rep for real. I could have been wearing that tonight, had to come in. Oh, that would have been amazing. I bet it would be super comfortable sitting here in this chair. Yeah. Really help with a, a you know, monkey butt situation. I will say the butt padding is not needed on this chair tonight. <laughs> oh, Nuria's puking a little bit already. Oh, she hasn't even started. What, really? She goes, rawr, pukes a little. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is. Not oh, a good sign. That is unfortunate. Oh, oh there's a team going here. Oh. Not ours. Looks but... like a fearless team heading out of the gates right now. Three. Three riders. Oh, oh there's one. Two is two more. Up, oh, oh, up. Oh, there they there are. There we go. There we go. Maybe they're they're a little fearful to leave the gate. I can't hear. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. Our, our dogs are getting a little feisty. That was Frida. She's a great Pyrenees. Frida. She has terrible timing and always gets feisty during yes. this time of the evening when we're trying to ride this is frida oh you can't see her. you can't see she's her. off to the side here we can we can take camera off though there's frida. frida this is sloper there's here, sloper right he's a kelpie <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> those are our dogs they'll be the ones interrupting periodically with their barks yep. and whatnot spit over the railing whoa what is what is going oh, on who's here spitting over the railing oh there's so much chat I guess we could be chatting on here too. Look at us. Oh, we can do this. 
Oh, this hey, is here's, a Mario Kart. Here's a Dino's team. Going. Oh, hey, okay. Okay, we're watching Diesel okay, Dead. Okay, let, uh, let me uh, do a little bit better here with my viewership. Okay, so so far we only have two dinos taken out three, three. of the gate. Oh, there, there they are, back behind. Okay, okay, we're get, we're getting there. Oh my. So let's see, we got uh, six dinos. There we go for one, the two, three, Dino four, One five, six, team. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Grouping up. All right. So now if they stay bunched up like this, they're not going to be as uh, efficient as if they were to pace line and get in a straight line. So it would behoove them to be in a single straight line. Whoa, somebody's charge into the front there. Looks like Shirley. I just moved our chat over to the Dinos 1 team. So Look at Shirley go. Dinos one. Whoa, Shirley. Get Shirley, it, Shirley, get it, girl. I love Shirley. She's great. Oh, good butt view there. My bad. Oh, whoa, Sorry about whoa. that there, Shirley. I think Shirley's forgotten. There's the rest of the team. There they are. There oh, they are. Hey oh. All right. Look at that nice line. <laughs> Shirley acting like a good leader there. Why Frida, why is our dog Frida destroying a random wall, wall in her house? What is happening? That was our bathroom door. She just attacked. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh yeah, our dog Frida is randomly attacking her bathroom door. That's something new for her. She doesn't typically do that. I All think, right. Look at Shirley taking a strong pull at the front there for the beginning. Yeah, but I think they're trying to get in that beautiful line that helps them. They're uh, working on it, yeah. save energy. Now, Look ideally, they want to be two to three meters apart, so they're still working on it. A couple of them riding tandem bikes, it looks like, but they're getting there. <laughs> getting wow, there. Shirley, great pull. We got new dino uh, Janice Wizzle. Wizzle. Uh, riding tonight on the nice canyon, looks like. Excellent. Oh. oh, oh, Frida. Oh, simmer down there, Frida. We're trying to a stream here, um, girl. A cushion now. Good. Oh, great. Good. Good. Hopefully by the end of the stream, we'll have something left of our house. Oh, we're going up a little hill right here. All right. Let them go. Oh, I love watching them like this. It almost looks like their tires are melting into the... Whoa, butt view. Oh. hey -o. Look, oh, oh, I'm not oh. nearly as coordinated as the uh, Zwift Community Live folks. Oh, yeah. They're really good at that. Yeah, no, I suck. All my years of playing Halo have not helped me at all for this. See, their tires aren't melting anymore. So so let's talk um, bike choices here. Which bike would you choose for this course and hey. why? Probably a good all-arounder because there's a little bit of climbing. Um, so the Tron or the Canyon, which looks like got a couple Trons there. We got a Canyon. And then um, what else we got there? It's a Trek, maybe a Monda, perhaps. Cervelo S5, perhaps. And I'm not sure what powertrain Polo's on, but um, it also has to do with what level you're at, though, and what bikes you have available to you. Mm -hmm. So, they're doing pretty good. Good start, good start. So, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a level 12 or 13 here, so what bike would I ride for this? Um, Probably the Canyon would be your best bet at this level. Um, cause it's, like I said, it's a good all around bike. It's good on the flats. It's good on the hills. Um, lets you do a little bit of everything really well, pretty much. Yeah. I think that's something as a dyno for that I need to start focusing on is, uh, what my bikes can do for me and what my wheels can do for me. And that's something I haven't gotten too much in. So, yeah. I think it's a, an overlooked aspect of this cause a lot of people forget that Zwift is actually a game and there is some gamemanship to it. And while you don't have power ups during the time trial, um, you certainly want to have the right bikes because it does make a difference in time and effort as far as what frame and wheels you're using. Um, if you have the Millenstein wheels, those are ideal, or the DT Swiss, um, or the Envies even. But um, you do want to choose wisely because they are not all created equal. Oh, it's so beautiful where they're riding today. Right? Look at that beautiful sun uh, sunset. Is it a sunset or a sunrise? I'm, I'm not, not really sure. sure. Not sure if there's an east and west in Watopia. Yeah, Watopia is just its own land. It just does what it does. Well, let's scroll through and check in on the uh, other dinos here. Oh. Let's see where they might be in this. Great. I'm going to join their chat again so we can hear oh, there, I saw one. what's happening. All right. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, look. Looks like they are just leaving the pen. Oh, and a beautiful pace line forming already. Wow, Good for them. Look at that line. Way to go. Hello. Who we who we following here? Oh, uh, we are. I don't know who we're following. We're on uh, Zelda, the legend. Ooh. The legend herself. Looks like Claire Atkinson coming to the front. She is a uh, 
a legend in her own right. She is. A Yorkshire legend, that is. And amazing. amazing. She sings a beautiful rendition of uh, Ilky Moore, or whatever the, Ooh, that song is. I have no <laughs> on clue Ilky what Moore. you're saying, but okay. Uh, when she sings it, I don't know what she's saying either, but it, it sounds beautiful. And apparently all the school children in Yorkshire learn it. Oh, great. Yeah, it's just a little tidbit there for you. I'm just getting a little <laughs> bit jealous of this pink hat watching all these people. Well, you know those pink hats actually come from um, completing so many workouts or whatever in the Zwift Academy. Hmm. I did not earn one because I am a Zwift Academy dropout. I didn't yeah. even start it because I was sick when it started, so maybe next time. I did one group ride, and I was like, eh, that's enough. All right, they're forming their line. They're getting back in, back into things here. Yep, yep. Good stuff. No, it seems like they're a little bit of uh, squabbling about who, what order to be in, but they'll figure it out. They are. The hungover dino does not want to be in the back. She's a little scared she'll be dropped. Up, oh, up. Oh, the drill oh. sergeant having a delay. Oh, Sarah's on this team? Oh, no, she's not. She's just in the chat. Oh. Who are we missing? There's somebody missing from the chat, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's somebody not. Who's not in the chat? Hmm. Unless who's, because that's not Sarah. Who's that? Click on that. That's Zelda. Zelda, there. Chantel, Claire. Maria, Kaylee. So who's not in the... Uh... Why is this so hard? Zelda? Oh, she's down there. I didn't see her down there. Ah, that's it. I was concerned you were right. missing a dino there for a second. We We're got good. it. We're good. I'm very proud of them. Look at those. You know, dino is, threes. Yeah, this really? is a mixed match team. It's it's a mixture of the Dino threes and the Dino fours tonight. So really proud of them for coming together tonight and mm -hmm. writing well. Nice. Oh, they're all on. Oh, your I see a lot of. Oh, but you know what that pretty paint job is? That's uh, I believe it's a Zwift Academy custom paint job. The Zwift Academy. Claire was really excited about that custom paint job. You remember that? Uh, Chantel was as well. Only Claire did not read it as paint job the first time, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she's called the Yorkshire legend. <laughs> yomping around, I suppose. You missed that conversation. Yes, about I the, did. The yomping, the doing boots and yomping around. I, I struggle. We have a dino's um, chat, and I struggle keeping up with it. There's a lot of messages I frequently look down at my phone at the end of the day of work, and there'll be like 75 messages that I've missed. <laughs> They're a chatty bunch. I mean, when you get a whole bunch of women together, not to stereotype or anything, but good grief, those women can chat. And, and there, it's a great chat. It is never a dull chat. No, and it's never appropriate either. It's always good times. <laughs> I always zoom in on the butt first. It makes me look dirty. <laughs> All right, so D1 still cruising along, bounce back here. Okay. Shirley's still taking a pull. Wow, that Shirley, she's a beast. Usually, uh, Diesel Deb is out front pulling for long periods of time, but she did have some uh, pretty intense sprints yesterday mm -hmm. in our easy ride, so maybe her legs are feeling that a little bit today. Oh, who's... Wizzle, bringing up the two spot. Oh, that's Wizzle. Jay yeah. Long? Mm -hmm. That's Wizzle. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there there comes Wizzle. There, Wizzle moves to the front there, so oh, in you the should gravel. see Shirley drop back now and take that back seat in the pace line. Yeah, so when she takes that back seat... Um, that's the best spot in the line. That means she can put out less, less energy into her biking and going the same pace as she was in the front. Yeah, a lot of times I think that that spot is overlooked. That's the that, that's the best seat. You can save up to one to two watts per kilogram just uh -oh. by staying that back spot of the pace line. Yeah, a lot of people are scared of it. It's not a scary place to be. You just have to know how to stay on. This these gravel sections are rough. You have to pedal so much harder. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a break happening right now um, because there is some extra resistance from the dirt sections. It's not just a pretty texture on the screen. Wizzle's doing a hell of a pull, but she is. she's uh, leaving behind three of her teammates. 
Look. Whoa, look at this. They're, they're in the dirt. Like, if you're digging so deep, the they're like literally in the dirt. That's incredible. That's that's a hell of a pool. Right? Wow. Oh, oh there goes. Her. Is that Diesel her? Deb going to the front. Oh, that's Diesel Deb. Diesel Deb really likes Whoa. being at the front of the train. I mean, she is Diesel Deb for like, a reason. Yeah. I mean, she has just endless power to tap into and just churn on those pedals. <laughs> it's funny that who who was that Paula? I, don't know who I think Powertrain Paula just commented that she felt like she had dirt in her teeth, which is really funny because every time I ride in those dirt sections, it's like instinctive to think that you have to hold your breath or something yeah. because when you ride through dirt in real life, you get that cloud and you're like trying to close your eyes and hold your breath to get through it. And the uh, graphics on Zwift make you feel the same way. Yeah. So it's and, funny that somebody else commented on that. And I don't know. So at Dinos 4, we frequently get past, especially in these gravel areas, and the dirt clouds that come up from the other teams passing us it's, it's real. are insane. Uh-oh. Wizzle. Wizzle fell back. Oh. Oh, no. Come back, Wizzle. Come back. There you go. She's she's in that middle group. She's okay. Okay, Diesel's pulling a little too hard. Yeah. Slow down, Diesel Deb. Talk to her. Yeah, you got a couple meter gap there behind you, Deb. And then they got a couple meter gap behind Ladine as well, so slow up a little bit there, Diesel. So this is <laughs> my favorite part. It's downhill. Let's hear. Do you want to talk to him? I just want to hear. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So the downhill is my favorite part. Yeah, okay. you got a three second gap now. All right, so what you see here is that uh, Diesel Deb was a little too diesel-y and pulled away from the rest of the team, and this downhill is not helping the cause at all. Um, they're going to want to regroup here. So they can stay strong, use less power. Yep. Yep. There we go. They're meeting back up now. There we go. This is it. Good regroup. There we go. Back into that line formation. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Diesel's going to get back in our position. Yeah, they're headed towards uh, KOM right now, actually. So we'll see how uh, this KOM treats Dinos 1 and see if they can stay together. Because if they can't, that's going to cause some real issues because they're going to have to really lose some time on the back side of that hill to regroup. So Dinos 1, is this um, who's usually in Dinos 1 and Dinos 2? Um, you, yeah, it's like half and half, I'd say. Dinos right. 1, Dinos 2. I love a good mixed team. Um, yeah, we have a new rider this week, too, with Ashley. Um, she recently joined the Dino. She's a good addition. She's a very high C category rider. Nice. Um, push her enough, she'll probably bump into a B here soon. So um, probably close to Debbie's power, Diesel Deb's power. Nice, There she Ashley. goes, actually. That's what I'm wow. talking about her. There she goes, up to the front on this pull. Nice work, Ashley. Uh, click on her. Watch her go up the hill here. Uh. Happy add to the Dinos family. Yeah, it's funny. The Dinos, while we're a smaller team, we, we pull in a certain personality, I feel like. Um, quirky, I guess, is the best way to call you know, it. We like to have fun. <laughs> we're fun personalities who um, we love to bike, but we also we love life. Yeah, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Yeah. So you see going to this K1 wow. here, there's a sharp uh, uptick here, um, up to 10%. And this is the part that's really going to bite into the team and the group and he's as you can see there's a little bit of a gap forming um but this is a spot you really want to just get out of the saddle and just stomp away on it and get through it as quickly as you can and then you can settle back into your saddle when you get to this five percent yeah it's already up starting around to the slow turn. down that's nice oh we're approaching another team here it looks like the fearless team we're coming up on oh nice we'll see uh we'll see how the passing goes this evening with the, the fearless team yes. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Here's some heavy breathing on Discord. It's getting, it's getting some gals. It's but getting real. Back see, see, Ashley him. handled it like a champ. Nice work, everybody. Getting a little strung out. We have one person 10 seconds back. 
That. That's okay. We'll, we'll see how that goes. She's regrouping. She's the good thing back. about the uh, climb on this in this direction is that it um, is much more gradual. On the other side of this KOM is a much steeper climb, which makes it harder to regroup with your teammates. So um, where it plateaus here a little bit for a while, it gives a chance for the team to kind of regroup and tackle the rest of the KOM together. Wizzle, she's strong. Yeah, Wizzle, look at her go. Yes, I haven't Wizzle. really had a chance to ride with her yet. Um, but I'm a big fan of her just because of her fun name of Wizzle. Uh, yeah, I get excited every time she pops up on our chat. Yeah, I mean, how can you not be excited about Wizzle? I might scream Wizzle every time <laughs> it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Uh -oh. So they're now chatting. Dino's one is to regroup here before they get to this other team. Yeah, the the trick will be to um, pass together as a team, because if uh, they get strung out, that's not gonna bode well for them. So neither of them. And are it better. makes other riders cranky. Yeah, it does. So they're kind of at this uh, difficult oh, they're coming back. spot they're coming right back. now. Yeah, there we go. Really having to slow down, though, to regroup. Jump up here to Wizzle. Ah. Wizzle, you got to back off a hair. Uh-oh. Oh, you're on too a far. fearless team. Too far. Tricked me. Wizzle's got a little head, but she's not quite in the danger zone, so that's good. A lot of, a lot of riders get real pissed when they when you start getting in that danger zone of drafting on them. And you start seeing some real catty comments start popping up on the chat. I All mean, right, great. Dinos oh, are regrouping. We Here we go. So we're yes. going to group pass. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's see a good clean pass here on the Fearless team. Go, Wizzle. Go. Go, Wizzle. Hard pedal. There she goes. It's weird not being on chat with everybody. I feel like they should be able to hear me right now, and they yeah. can't. Well, once this uh, Dino team gets over the KOM here, we're going to flip back to Dino 3 and see where they are on the course. Oh, yeah, we might be able to catch their KOM mm -hmm. as well. Come on, Dino's 1. Sometimes it's so uh, it's such a tease when you see a team so close to you, and it just seems like it takes forever to actually catch them and pass them. There we go. Back together. And it never fails that you have to pass at least one team on a climb. Yeah, and it's always like when you're already pedaling as hard as you can, and then you have to pass somebody, and you're out of breath. And But it's common courtesy to pedal harder when you pass somebody, and for the people you're passing to slow their pedals so it can be a clean pass. Yep. So, let's go. Almost there. Go, dinos. Go! Something. Look at Frida go. Oh, Frida's got a toy. A toy. Good for her. <laughs> she's our rescue dog, and she's scared of toys and does not play with them very frequently. So this is a big deal. <laughs> All right, so here you see some true uh, Canadian politeness. Easel Deb saying, uh, like, sorry, passing sorry. to the, the fearless. <laughs> there we go. Get nice all the dinos pass. around. Look at that. Nice clean pass. There you go. Excellent. That was a great pass. That was a good clean pass. Uh, oh. The dinos did a great job of accelerating down the descent there, trying to break away from the fearless group and not kind of get mingled in with them. But I also love that the fearless team said go dinos when they pass. That's great teammanship. Teammanship? Sportsmanship? That's sportsmanship. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's your I'm first like, that's, time. That's, that's not the right word. You're right. That's Words completely are hard wrong. for me. They're, they're not my strong <laughs> Completely suit. wrong. All right, so let's switch over to our other dino group, wherever they may be. There they are. Oh, look, perfect timing again. Oh. Just starting the climb. Man, I'm good at this. Off this KOM. Darn. All right, oh, front and center. Hey, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, well, lots you of heavy breathing really? on this Discord. Woo! Oh, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's uh, kind of wish somebody was muted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
They got it. I guess heavy breathing is just a sign of working hard. They're doing great. They are. This is about the time where I mute my mic so I can cuss a little bit and get all my negative energy out to get up that hill. Yeah, sometimes swearing helps to climb. It does. Fine. It does. It does. It's also a great way to get out all your bad stuff from the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh, the fearless team is uh, chasing dinos, huh? Oh. Oh, maybe it wasn't such a clean pass after all. Oh. Should all right. we go back? At the very least, switch this Discord. This is awkward. Uh, oh, that looks like clear. We're, we're following the fearless yeah. team right now. There seems to be a safe gap. Oh, there, is that a dino back there? Do you see a dino at the back of their group? I could have sworn I saw a yellow. Hold on. Oh, maybe it was just top of an outfit I saw. I saw all yellow, but no. This is top of their yeah. shirt. They're doing pretty good. I mean, if they want to pass at this rate, they can step it up and pass, I feel like. Uh, this, this is tough, though, because the fearless group is in, like, a difficult position uh, right now. Because they got to either decide to repass the dinos or back off. But um, they seem to be pushing much harder, though, than the dinos at this point in time. Yes. Awkward. Very Maybe awkward. they're just faster on the flats where the dinos are better on the hill. That could be. Sometimes you get that. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, though, the, the fearless group here is a mix, though, of um, at least one B, if not multiple, and some Cs. So as a team, they might be a slightly stronger composite than the current dinos one team that we've been following. Oh, I feel like I get to see so much more of the landscape when I do this <laughs> Not instead riding. of when I'm biking. <laughs> when I'm biking, I'm dying, and I'm just trying to finish and stay with my team, stay uh. on that wheel. <laughs> Dean's at the very back, risking to be dropped. She's fighting to come back. There Who she goes. That? There she's getting attached. Ladine. Wow. Is yeah. this her first ride? Nope. She's ridden a couple by now. I call her Ladinomite. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. There she goes. She got caught back up the power train there. All back together. All right, let's go back to uh, the other dinos. It seems like the fearless um, and the dinos one drama has simmered down a bit. Less hard breathing on the dinos three. Good, chat. good. I'm happy That's to hear that. That's an improvement. There's Chantel, <laughs> my fearless leader. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dino's 3 getting really strung out here on this KOM. I will say this is a normal thing for 3 and 4. Um, they are at very different levels and at better at different things. So this is something that usually happens on the Dino's 4 team. We go up at our own pace and then we slow down and regroup on the downhill. That's good. That, that's just something that comes with the territory, I think, of Category D because it is such a wide range of ability. I mean, you're talking about anywhere from zero watts per kilogram to, um, what, 2.5. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a huge spectrum of ability right there. Whereas when you look at, like, C category, you're only talking 2.5 to 3.2. Mm -hmm. So, much, much more condensed. But normally, we do have two D teams um, to better suit the writers. But because today's such a low turnout due to Thanksgiving. They're running together today. I would also venture to guess too that for um, D writers, and maybe I'm just speculating here, that um, climbing probably isn't the first skill set to develop. I would agree to that. <laughs> it's probably more of that um, time trial on the flats kind of yeah. uh, 20 minute FTP kind of skill set that develops first, then the climbing comes second. Yeah, I, I, I am a true D, I am a low D, and I am proud of it because I'm working my butt off and I'm getting there. But I'm just starting to um, improve on my climbing skills and really trying to get some of those badges with more climbing in them to improve myself. And I can see my climbing muscles <laughs> changing every day. It happens. I mean, when, when riders are looking to improve themselves, I tell them, to always just climb, climb and climb some more because climbing's going to help 
with everything. Whereas if you stick to the flat courses, you're only going to be good at flat courses. Um, so I know they're uncomfortable. I know it's painful sometimes, but get out there and climb. Just keep climbing. Super tuck. I good use of super, super tuck. tuck. Oh yeah. Good super tuck. A lot so of riders gonna... overlook the, um, super tuck. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Nope. Go ahead. Oh, um, I'm a big fan of super tuck. Um, you actually go faster when you're at 36 miles an hour or, uh, what, 60? It's 35 miles an hour or negative five. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what it is in kilometers. Oh. 50. They told me the other day. I forget. Six, I don't know. 60, maybe. I don't know. I'm bad at the conversion. Ugh, metric. Um, no, actually, I really it's like metric. Ours. I just wish we used it. Um, <laughs> but SuperTech allows you to actually go down the hill much more efficiently and quickly than if you were to stay up um, pedaling. And a lot of riders don't take full advantage of that every chance they get. So, um, yeah, if you're hitting 35 miles an hour and at 5% or more in um, descent, then tuck away, stop pedaling, and let it tuck, and let gravity do the work for you. And you can actually ride that out then. Um, even when it increases to just negative 3%, you can still ride in that super tuck. It is my favorite thing. Um, as a new climber, climbing these big hills we do in these races and doing it multiple times, it's rough. But that super tuck makes it all worth it. You get that couple seconds to regroup, to breathe a little bit, but still catching speed. Um, sometimes there's even another hill you can easily go up getting that speed from the super tuck. So definitely worth it. Everybody should do it. Newbie riders who don't know about it, try it out next time. Totally worth it. And we have some chatters over here. Yeah, talking to the drill sergeant herself here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kilowatts uh, is on here too. Yep. Oh, I can't spell tonight though. Oh dear. It's okay. Look at that. There's Kilowatt Kate chiming in on the chat. All right. Love Kilowatt Katie. All right. Kilowatt got her name because she works with electricity. She does. And she is, she has power behind her. When she goes up hills, she can definitely get some wattage in her numbers. Like sneaky power. She's yeah, sneaky she does. Power, like a ninja. Sneaky power. Are they coming up on a group? Uh, get it, dinos. Yeah, three. looks like it. Let me zoom around here. Yep, they are coming up on a herd of something. <laughs> herd of something. Margaritas, maybe. Oh. Or maybe it's just a herd. Somebody forgot to change your name because I didn't remember seeing that in these with power list. Yeah, there's a lot of lotus like, in there as well. Oh, that's just... I'm not really sure what's happening there. Not but, sure uh, what... Yeah, see, they got a herd of flamingos. So we got a herd of something. Yeah, we got a herd in front of us here. <laughs> of some kind. They're I'm flocking hop on this, this direction. chat and try to make them get this herd. Hey, Dinos 3. Still ways out. You're coming up... You're coming up on a herd of something. Let's see. I don't even know how long this Go get them, girls. Going. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this tonight? 29 kilometers. I wish I knew what that meant. Uh, There's 17 seconds in front of you right now. The herd is. Oh. Our dog is coming to say hi. Oh, well, hello, hello, Silver. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's a friendly little... Okay, bud. Thank you. Bloke. Thank you, bud. You want to play with this toy? <sighs> Here you go. That didn't help me switching that at all. Oh! Oh, oh. Sorry about that. Hi, Our buddy. dog is a little, like, situation, I guess. Go get that toy. Go get it. All right. Where are we at here? All right, so... Oh, so they're catching the herd. Almost to the halfway point in this race. Oh, exciting. That's about an 18-mile course. Oh, are you doing some translations? Yes, because I don't know what 29 kilometers means in miles, because I am American. I understand. I mean, the metric system makes way more sense since the uh, vast majority of the entire globe uses it, yes. but that's fine. Let's just keep doing our own thing. I, maybe not the smartest thing, but... Guess that's how we roll. Who am I? <laughs> I don't um, make decisions like that. Important decisions. I did hear the Dinos 3 say that they were going... At one point, 45 kilometers. 
an hour or something, whatever. That could be. Call it. That could be. I cannot confirm or deny that, however. That's right just now. what they said. <laughs> um, not sure. I did also hear, though, that if you switch from kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour, you get more drops. Drops. That is true. You. That is true. I, but I, yet yeah, here I am still in mileage because yeah. when I switch to kilometers, I don't know what it means to me. Yeah. And then I just make an arbitrary number up as far as how many miles that is, and that just doesn't work out very well. But my favorite thing of all times was when um, um, she used to be part of the Dinos team. Lives in California. Said DM the the ride's almost over, and they weren't even halfway. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a former, well, she's still a dino at heart, but she races elsewhere now on Zwift due to her level or category. But, uh, yeah, dear DM, she, we were doing the jungle route, and she's like, we're almost finished. And I swear we still had, like, a lap and a half, which was, like, well over six <laughs> miles. And I'm like, you're straight up lying to me. You're wrong. Aww. So now it's just, like, a joke that any, I just shout out randomly, we're almost done, because it means nothing. <laughs> All right, they're slowly gaining on this team, the herd of but they whatever. Are. And they you are. know what? I'm proud of them because this isn't something that well, actually, I'm not 3... sure they are. It's, oh, now, yeah, now, they they're are. now they're getting because now it's going down. The Dinos <laughs> 3 and Dinos 4 teams don't frequently get it past people, so this is a very exciting moment for this team. Oh, oh! I went way too far back. My bad. Whoa! Danger. We're going all the way back to the pin. Yep. I got excited. Oh, oh who's this? That's Dinos 1. Let's How see do I where they are. Or was that where it was? I was sorry. Oh, no, I thought it was... Dino's 1. They're they're in the canyon, huh? Weren't we? That's just who we were following. No, we were on Dino's 3. We were? Yeah, because oh. they were about to pass somebody. Oh, okay. All right, then. If you say so. Oh. Apparently, drinking does affect your ability to stream on Twitch. But I will say, this canyon is one of my favorite places to ride in Zwift. I don't know why. I always just feel so strong in this canyon. Like, every time I get here, I'm like, yeah, get yeah. the butt. <laughs> Not really sure why. Because it's flat. Is that it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, I kind of feel like I kick butt in on hills because most people don't have the power I have because I am heavier. I can, when I stand up and pedal, I can use my body weight. And I feel like that's an advantage that uh, bigger girls should take, should take more often. Agreed. You got it. You got to play to your strengths mm -hmm. and uh, work with your weaknesses. Yep. Who's this out in front? Um, I think it's Whistle. 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 Doing a long pull. Oh, my phone's about to die. Oh. This happens every single week. Thursday night is like the only night of the week that my phone almost dies. Don't let her lie to you. This happens all the time every day. No, not as much anymore, actually. <laughs> it's really just Thursday night now. My old phone, it was like every day. <laughs> Fact. But for getting my phone places, now I'm a master at that. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Oh, I love all, right. all chats. Oh. Good Are we job. going back to Dinos 3? We can see if they're passing it. Oh, you want me to? Okay, sure. Let's go back to Dinos 3 here. See where the heck they are. There they are. Where? Seven seconds back. Where, where, what are you seeing? That's not even our team. Oh. <laughs> You're just picking a random team to follow. I thought now. you were on our team. No, I was clicking through trying to find them. Oh well, I was wrong. Yeah, yeah. They're they're Probably still the same point. distance back. <laughs> no, they're nine seconds. No, on. it was twelve seconds, and then <laughs> it's still twelve seconds. Yeah, but look, these two are nine because two have just fallen back, or they're like randos. Every so often, random riders eke their way into the time trial and really kind of mess things up, but. I think they're just off the back side. Now they're Can all I together. tell you something? As What's a, that? As a, as a person who's not always the strongest, yeah. I love going through other people's <laughs> confetti. I just feel like like such a badass. I'm like, yeah, confetti, and I didn't do it. <laughs> 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 like, I didn't earn the confetti, but I'm going to pretend I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, lordy. All right, so right now the dino's... Uh, three are working a little harder than they need to because they're bunching up. They need to string out and be a pace line. There we go. There you go. They're talking about it. I'll be right back. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. Yep. I'm going to be here. 
Oh, seems like the herd of whatever is getting actually further away now in the flats. They must be a little bit stronger here on the flats. Yeah. Right here. Oh. All right, let's go back to Dinos 1 see what they're up to. Diesel Deb. Oh, what the back? Powertrain off the front here doing a long pull. She didn't get that name by accident. Her favorite uh, pre-race food is actually pizza and cookies. And she's been known to scarf that down minutes before getting on the bike. Now how she keeps that down is a true mystery. Because I have to eat like three hours beforehand with that, to have any hopes of keeping my meal down. But you do like pizza. I love pizza, but it... it you like pizza as a pre-ride, like earlier in the day. Yeah, like hours beforehand I love pizza. Yeah. Not like minutes beforehand. Correct. Now, That's she did say it was a vegan pizza, I think, that night. But still, any just any food that close to riding, it sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I tried to eat some popcorn before my ride today, and it did not work. <laughs> oh. I will say, though, um, eating is a huge part of biking that a lot of people miss out on, um, beginning riders miss out on. And eating enough calories for the big girls is always an issue. Um, you know, you want to lose weight or something, so you always say eat less calories. Actually, for biking, you need those calories, and you need your carbs that people say, you know, you usually don't need to eat. It's really important to get those in so you do have the energy to do a full race like this. Yeah. Carbs are like the immediate fuel you use while riding, um, and, your, and your body has a lot more difficulty breaking down fats and protein in during the actual activity. Um, so that's why you might get cramps and uh, or feel sluggish and or hit the wall and bonk. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important to fuel your body to give it the energy it needs to perform and perform at a high rate mm -hmm. during races and such, or even just doing a practice ride. Um, so even if you are trying to lose weight, it's kind of counterintuitive to, th to think about it, but, um, you do want to keep eating and fueling your body within reason. You never want to eat more than what you're burning off, but you have to eat with purpose and intention, um, to make sure you have those calories you need to burn. Definitely. And it should not be overlooked that following every ride, you need to take in like minimum 25 grams of protein after a ride. And ideally you want to take in, um, different kinds of protein. You want the protein that's fast acting and immediately gets to your muscles. And you want to take that in within 15 minutes of finishing the ride. And then you also want, um, some slower acting protein, um, with a, the, with a micular casein, something like that, um, that releases slowly over time. It's, it's usually like an overnight kind of protein that'll work while you're sleeping. And all of that, all that protein works to prevent muscle soreness and repair your muscles from the workout or race that you just uh, took part in. Yeah, I will say before I, Lauren always told me to take protein after I'm done working out and I never listened to her. I'm like, whatever. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I started to do it and it made a world of difference. I can actually like wear heels to work the next day and actually walk. <laughs> and before I couldn't, I couldn't wear heels. I struggled making it up the steps I was so mm -hmm. sore you know <laughs> yeah I think we can all recall at least one of those workouts maybe in high school or something where uh like tryouts or something where they're like trying to get you to quit the team oh and the, the uh fearless teams asking how Nuria is doing oh oh look at that reaching out to Nuria asking if she's keeping her cookies down maybe I don't know <laughs> um but uh yeah, I mean, I remember distinctly actually a softball practice in high school and we had to do lunges back and forth across the field for like what felt like the entire practice. And I couldn't use my legs for like the next <laughs> week. Every time I had to get out of a chair at school it was just horrible. And um, but it's because I didn't take in the protein. I didn't we didn't know those things back then. Mm -hmm. You know, nutrition for athletes wasn't as big a deal. We're going to talk to Nuria. Yeah. Nuria, the fearless team is asking how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sure to let them know. Yep. 
<laughs> so proud of you. So proud of you. We just um, followed up with Nuria. She's doing well. No puke bucket no yet. No puke bucket yet. We're really proud of her. Way to stay strong. <laughs> she had her tacos as fuel today for lunch. Yep. And Nuria's normal uh, eating food, her emergency food, is a banana. She likes the bananas. The emergency banana, as she yes. calls it. When when the banana, bananas are out, she goes for figs. Which that's right. That sounds a little scary to me, but that's what she goes for. I mean, it could be worse. It could be like prunes. Oh, or was it prunes? No, she goes for figs. It's you're figs. right. Okay. But yeah, no, you're thinking of prunes. Where yeah, yes. you could have a wow. You could have a disaster in the saddle yes. if you're taking in prunes <laughs> yeah, while riding. That's perhaps. Dangerous. <laughs> I that's would not recommend dangerous. prunes to anybody for <laughs> any extreme uh, performance. No way. So right, we're on this like never-ending quest to catch this herd of something. We are still... Oh, we've gained two seconds on them. We're not ten seconds, seconds back. back. We're getting there. The, I was listening to the Dynasty chat, and they just decided to slow down a hair. Um, they're afraid they can't keep up their speed for the rest of the race if they keep this pace up. So Now, was that based on Nuria's uh, near-vomiting status? Or? I, I sure... I don't think so. Okay. You know, I really want to give a huge shout-out to Kaylee. She's... She's a, a newbie writer that was on um, Dinos 14, and she's hanging in great with the Dinos 3. She's right up there. She's doing amazing. I told her last week that she should graduate, and she laughed at me, but I think this is proving it. And coming all the way from uh, Winnipeg, I believe, right? Oh. Yeah, out in the middle of Canada there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself a puppers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we watch Letter Kenny. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't watched Letter Kenny, you need to do that ASAP. I I base my my friends on whether or not they watch that, and if they don't watch it, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> and for those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> I Canadians. was watching a race the other day. <laughs> the Canadians always say we don't sound like that, do we? Uh, you do. No, they don't. <laughs> not at all. Uh, they do say sorry. <laughs> they do say sorry. <laughs> They are very polite. But, you know, that's why I love Canadians. I feel like I'm Canadian at heart. I agree. Uh, because I I uh, like that politeness and that common courtesy. And I, I don't feel like we see enough of it here mm -hmm. in America. Um, being in Vermont, though, I feel like we're like Canada junior. Yeah. And I'm hoping any day now that Canada just kind of like adopts Vermont. Yeah. We just like get And we just like yeah. get absorbed into Canada. But um, that might not happen in my lifetime. I, I still hoping for it though. As a kid, I learned the Canadian anthem, so I could, at one point, become a Canadian citizen. I was ready as a child. Yeah. So far, <laughs> Canada has not wanted us though. No, no. We've tried. <laughs> they they won't hire us. <laughs> so if any uh, Canadians uh, who are employers are looking for somebody, you know, hey, we're here. We're here. <laughs> ready to work. <laughs> Sober, of course. Yeah. I'm drinking water now. Oh, isn't that responsible? No, I just ran out of wine. I didn't want to look like an alcoholic. Still more. <laughs> just top you off there. Thanks. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thanks for unofficial sponsor for the evening. Snow Farm Vineyard. Delicious yep. wine. Delicious wine. Highly suggest them. Perhaps you can order stuff online. I don't know. I, I think you can. I just drive down the road and pick it up. Yeah, though. it's right down the road from us, so we just go. As far as a non-California wine, it's delicious. Yes. I'm partial, though. We were highly suspect of them when we first went. Yeah. And they they turned out to be very delicious. Yes. Yes. I'm finding these red flowers. Oh, we're like, farther back. We're back to 13 and 14 seconds. Oh, well, now it's 10 seconds. Oh. These red flowers are making me angrier. I kind of feel like maybe oh. red isn't the highlight color. That, well, let's not watch red flowers then. Let's go somewhere like, else. I mean, like, as I'm biking. All right. Oh, back to Dinah's one here. All right, going underwater. Eww. Oh, I like that view. Inside view. Yeah, side view is nice. You can see him. Look at him go. He's all tough. Diesel Deb. I'm really starting to think that uh, that sprinting yesterday. Let's check in with her. Get this phone on. Oh. I want to oh. talk to Diesel Deb here. Get the lowdown. What's going on? 
Hanging up from three, going to one. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. dear. What is happening? What am I doing Apparently here? Apparently this is Sarah's first time working in Discord. Get out, Lauren. Unmute me? me. Unmute me. Diesel Debbie, what is going on tonight? I I saw that. You feeling those sprints from the other day? Oh, just the downhill. Okay. 3.1. Get it. Get it, Debbie. <laughs> yep. You see there, Diesel Deb's really having to work hard to catch up. <laughs> she claimed it was the downhill, but she's still off the back. Get out, Lauren. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my phone's in power saver mode. Oh, that to be fair, Diesel is going three watts per kilogram, and those in front of her are going like one point eight. <laughs> So, something wrong with the math here. <laughs> go. Go, Debbie. Go. <laughs> nope. Diesel Debbie likes the challenge. Why'd you mute me? Sarah muted me. Unbelievable. She was being mean. I was not. I was, I was saying Debbie likes a challenge. Part of the Canadian spirit. Who's out in front? Uh, Ashley. Ashley. Killing it, Ashley. Great the work. Deet's getting it done. Ashley and Wizzle killing it. Yep. Uh, I just like saying Wizzle. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> we love you on our team. Yep. Fun watching you as a creeper, you know. I don't I don't normally get to creep on my own team. This is really fun and exciting. It is. And I'm sure you'll all love the commentary when you rewatch this. Oh, swishing the cooler. Good communication there. I'm gonna go get a cell phone charger. Okay. You're not on mute. I uh, know. I don't think so. Uh, oh, Shirley is. Oh, Shirley British does. Yeah. I listen to Shirley all the time. Can I unplug your laptop? What? Is that not okay? Uh, I can plug it right back in in like two seconds. Actually, grab my headphones case. It acts as a charger. For real. Good luck, the one on my stand. You're 19 sets. Mama. Ah! All right, Dinos 1 coming out from the underwater tube here. Bunching together. So, looks like they only about, have about like a mile left, a little under a mile perhaps, heading towards the pier again. So, we'll stay with them, watch their finish. It doesn't work. Oh, you have it on this. No. Oh. No, not like that. No, you gotta plug it in that thing. I don't have that thing. Yeah, okay. Fine. Right. Plug it in wherever you need to. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Alright, so the trick here though, we're gonna have to switch to Dinos 3 or anybody other than Dinos 1 so we don't get kicked out of watching this. Ah, uh, what are you doing back there, Sarah? Unbelievable. I got sloper involved. This isn't gonna work. I got the thing plugged into the wrong one. This isn't gonna work. What are you doing? Just calm down. <laughs> Swerven's having a little issue trying to figure out which plug works and technical difficulties. Charge the phone. All right, Dinos one, come up to the finish here soon. 
<laughs> oh, oh, easy there, Slumber. <laughs> Slumber. Good talk there, buddy. All right, where are we doing? All right, they're coming up to the finish. Is this one? Yep, and then we'll switch off. Fine, Diesel or Diesel. Dino's three. Let's go, ladies. They're finishing a good, respectable time here in the 50-minute range. Looks like by the time they get to the the lineup here. Oh, this one doesn't work either. Hmm? What is your deal? I hate this. You're making this way harder than it needs to be. I'm overcharging. All right, so they're finishing right about 50 minutes. Looks like I'm going to switch off, though. Go find Dino's what? 3. What? You didn't even watch them. Because it kicks me out. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Sounds like they're sprinting to the finish, though. Finishing strong. Good job, Dino's oh, that 1. Was a great noise. I just heard. Yeah, that's a, that's a sound oh, of finishing look at the strong. Dust. Got a. Hold your breath, hand into the dirt. Hey, Frida. All right. Dino's three heading into the tunnel. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Dino's one had a good, strong finish. Great work, Dinos One. Nice job, Dinos One. Okay, heading back to Dinos Three. Yep. Except for Frida. I don't know how to get to Dinos Three. I'm stuck. I don't know. General? No. That's right. Just go back. Let's go to another one. That was weird. That's why I did that. All right. Dinos 3 has about two miles left to go. It's currently in the underwater section, as you can see. Let's go, ladies. You got this. Working hard, I hear. Nice job. Pull them, Kaylee. That's Claire out in front. I know, but Kaylee was about to pass her. Oh, okay. All right, you ladies are working harder than you need to by bunching up, getting a straight line. All right, Legends taking over. There you go. There you go, Dinos 3. Why do you keep doing that? The screen turns off. It's on phone saver. Oh. There you go. Yeah, get in a line. Save yourself some energy. Much better, guys. Who's that rebel on the outside there? I'm not sure who that was. That was um, uh, me. Nuria. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh. She's like, hell no, it wasn't me. <laughs> She's like, I'm just trying to stay on this train. Nuria's doing great. You're killing it, lady. You tell yes. him, player. Oh, we got Straggler oh, here. Let's pass this Lotus. Sorry, you got a little excited for that hill. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Claire is making some fun commentary right now in the chat. It's where we're giggling. Yeah, everyone loves the good, the good put down joke, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> uh. Our team, the Dinos, cheering on. Oh, somebody better roar. The team there moving. Bye. Oh, that was a... Roar. Oops, that says rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't show up. Hey, who is this? Who is this rando? That's the Lotus person. Get out, Lotus. All right, so what you're seeing here... Is, are we muted? No, we're let's, not Let's muted. mute them so they don't have to hear it. Okay. All right, so what you're seeing here is a straggler who is not following the rules of passing. So since they've been dropped by their own team, or if they even have a team, I'm not even sure, um, they have no business being in with any other team. They're, they need to um, back off and let the team pass and basically stay the heck out of the way because 
they're, they don't really count at this point. They're, they've been dropped. They're gone. And it's just uh, poor sportsmanship. I mean, this isn't your team. Your team is gone. Yeah. Do this hill, guys. Get it. They can't hear me. I'm cheering them on like they can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this this Lotus person, uh, if they are a part of a team, actually, they can get their team disqualified by uh, latching on the way they're doing and drafting. We once had somebody draft off our team during a time trial for 1.7 miles. Wow. Yeah, completely inappropriate. <laughs> the good thing about being a Dyna 4, not too many people draft off of us. <laughs> You know, we, we get good compliments, like, thanks for slowing down. And we're like, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dino's three here. Getting close to the finish. Watching Chantel. Mm -hmm. Less than a mile. So the Dino's three here is kind of in a predicament. They need four people to have their time count. So they need one of these other two riders to catch up to them but so they can have a time that counts They're coming quicker. back. They're doing 2.8, trying to come back They're here. working. Nuri is really pushing. Look at that. Wow. Nuria's cookies are staying in, and she's pushing. Yeah, get it, Nuria. Get it, girl. Use that taco power. Oh, good taco power. And that is not a racist all. comment. She actually ate tacos yes, earlier. Yes, yes. Just to clarify. <laughs> Great food to eat. Fueling. That, that's, you know what? Tacos are probably like the perfect meal pre-ride. You get like the carbs, you get the protein, you get mm -hmm. a little bit of everything, you feel full. Yep. But it's not too heavy. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe Nuri is onto something here. Sometimes you eat pizza before a ride. Even like a few hours and I just don't know how you do that. <laughs> no. All right. Let's go, ladies. Zelda's leading the dinos to the finish here. Zelda's staying strong. Look at her going. That's why she's a legend. Here, get on the on the tom. Her to drop somebody else. Who's that loser still sitting in a pen that's 57 minutes behind? Oh, that's Lauren. Ha, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> you're, you're on with Dino's 3. All right, let's see a strong sprint finish here. Not yet, though. Wait for it. Chantel, what you going to give me? Wait for it. Three point. Ready, go, sprint, Three sprint, point. get out of the saddle, push, get come it, on, Chantel. go okay, dinos, please. go, there you go, there's a sprint, go, get go. it, get yes, it, yes, right go dinos, go, yes. yeah, nice finish, great, great finish. job, woo, awesome work, ladies, all right, go ahead, mute, excellent effort. All right, well, that's it. Both our Dinos team have crossed the line. Excellent effort by both teams since, really, since they had uh, combined a couple of teams together. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching, too. Hope you enjoy the commentary. We enjoyed your company. Thanks, See guys. Ya.